It is unusual to find Hebrew billboards on Tehran streets. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're going to tell you Iran's new hypersonic jet shocks the entire world. This one, displayed across Iran's capital this week, reads 400 seconds to Tel Aviv in Persian, Arabic, and Hebrew. It is an announcement of the latest missile in Iran's rapidly expanding arsenal of weaponry, which the military claims can travel up to 15 times the speed of sound. But before we proceed the further details, if you're new to this channel, remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. The missile is named Fatah, allegedly after one of God's 99 names in Islam, which means victory giver. It was announced this week as a historic accomplishment by the country's military. The hypersonic projectile can penetrate all air defense missile systems and detonate them. According to Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, Aerospace Force Commander Brigadier General Amir Ali Hajizadeh, according to the semi-official Tasnim news agency. The RGC claims it can move within and above the Earth's atmosphere with a range of 1,400 kilometers. This would put Israel within reach. Hypersonic missiles can move faster than Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. Yoav Gallant, Israel's defense minister, quickly dismissed the potential threat to his country. I hear our enemies boasting about the weapons they are developing, he added in comments released by Israeli media. To any such development, we have an even better response. Whether it be on land, in the air, or in the maritime arena, including both defensive and offensive means. Although Iran's assertions have not been independently verified, experts believe they are consistent with genuine progress in missile development. Yuzi Rubin, the founder and former director of the Israel Missile Defense Organization at the Israeli Defense Ministry, sees no reason to doubt that the missile is real and functional. The concept is realistic, elegant, and is workable. He was quoted as saying by CNN. However, he highlighted that it is not necessarily a significant revolution in Tehran's missile capabilities, and that it is not the first hypersonic missile Iran has designed, despite being a revolutionary design. Experts believe that most ballistic missiles can fly at hypersonic speeds. According to Alex Vitanka, head of the Middle East Institute's Iran program in Washington, D.C., Iran has a long history of making exaggerated claims about missile development. That being said, Iran has made significant achievements in this domain, which no one can deny. Has Iran joined the A-list of countries capable of producing hypersonic missiles? This is not the case. According to study, the Iranian drones deployed by Russia in Ukraine use stolen Western technology. The United States claims Iran has the greatest ballistic missile force in the Middle East and regards its missile arsenal as one of its primary tools of coercion and force projection. Iran has previously asserted that its missile development is strictly defensive. The Kahan newspaper, whose editor is nominated by Iran's supreme leader, stated in an editorial this week that the Fatah missile's objective is also to show its deterrence in economic and political areas. Under harsh American sanctions, Iran frequently accuses the U.S. of waging an economic war against it. Since 2017, Iran has launched five large cross-border ballistic missile strikes in the region. According to John Kurzazaniak, a research associate at the Wisconsin Project on Nuclear Arms Control in Washington, D.C., these include two assaults on ISIS in Syria and three in Iraq that claim to be targeting us forces, Kurdish insurgents, and Israeli intelligence. According to experts, the maneuverability of Iran's latest missile sets it apart from previous projectile designs. It has a movable nozzle that allows it to travel in an erratic pattern, making it difficult to intercept. If Iranian officials' claims about the new Fatah missile are true, then it will certainly have more maneuverability compared to previous systems, Krizanyak said. But it doesn't achieve this in the same way as other countries' hypersonic weapons and it probably won't have maneuverability to the same extent. He believes Iran's statements regarding the Fatah missile are primarily believable since it is largely an iteration of earlier, proven technology that Iran has developed domestically. What implications does this have for the Middle East's existing missile defense systems? 
Israel has multiple missile defense systems. Its Iron Dome is intended to protect against short-range rockets launched from neighboring Gaza or Lebanon. David Sling deters medium-range projectiles. For longer-range ballistic missiles, the Arrow family of defensive systems has an operating range of 2,400 kilometers. Iran has a direct conduit to deliver Russia weapons, and Western governments can do little to block the shipments. Israel, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates all utilize the U.S.-made Patriot Missile Defense System. Saudi Arabia and the UAE additionally use the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, which can intercept short- and medium-range ballistic missiles at higher altitudes. The AD was employed in combat for the first time in January 2022, when a Houthi missile was fired at the UAE. It's possible that Patriot is capable of shooting down a FATA missile, but hard to say for sure, since there are still a lot of unknowns with both systems," Kurzezaniak said in a statement. Reports out of Ukraine suggest Patriot has shot down Russian Kinzhal missiles, which are similar to Fatah in that they can maneuver at high speeds. He did remark, however, that Patriot stationed in Saudi Arabia failed to take down numerous missiles fired by Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen, even though those weren't particularly sophisticated. Even a highly capable missile defense system can fail if it's in the wrong location, if its radar is facing the wrong direction, if the missiles are flying too low to be detected, or if there are too many missiles in a single barrage," he added. Gulf Arab states have long contended that Iran's missile program should be included in Western nations' talks with Tehran on its nuclear program, claiming that the missiles constitute a more direct threat to their security. Iran's Arab foes in the region have recently moved to reconcile with the Islamic Republic, considerably lessening the likelihood of conflict in the Persian Gulf. That leaves Israel as the state most likely to be concerned about Iran's latest missile. Rubin, a former Israeli defense officer, expressed confidence that even if Israel does not currently have the capability to defend against it, we'd be able to defend against it. Iranian officials also declined to disclose footage of the FATA's successful launch. Hypersonic missiles, which travel at speeds more than Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound, could pose significant challenges to missile defense systems due to their speed and mobility. Iran claimed the FATA may achieve Mach 15, which is 15 times the speed of sound. That's all for today's video. China is thought to be pursuing the weapons, as does America. Russia claims to have already fielded the weapons and utilized them on the battlefield in Ukraine. However, speed and mobility do not guarantee that the missile will effectively strike a target. In May, Ukraine's Air Force claimed it shot down a Russian hypersonic Kinzhal missile with a Patriot battery. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.